Hey everyone, this is NHL Hopkins Sports. Hope you enjoy your day today and this video. Today we're talking about the Red Wings and what different options they have at the 2021 draft. Now they have two picks. Um, the first pick is six overall in the draft and confirmed um, recently that they had the number 23rd pick overall, which was the Capitals pick for, um, of course, Anthony Mantha going to the Caps. First and a second for... Mantha, I mean, I should say this, Mantha to the Caps, I'll get this right, first and a second, and Verana to the Wings, and one of the first round picks is going to be number 23 um, here overall, and the Wings have two picks, so guess what, we get to talk about five, um, not five, sorry, eight players instead of four, I'll talk about the Kings, the other, the other video, a couple of videos ago, um, maybe we'll kind of, everyone kind of like that video. People want me to do the rings. Since they have two picks, eight players instead of four. Because the Kings, I only had four players to pick from because only one pick. So, this should be an interesting one. Stay, stay here and we can uh, talk about some players that can go to the rings. So, let's start off with the first one. Um, The Red Wings have a lot of options here. Let's we'll start off with the six overall pick. Well... Could players be going six overall to the Red Wings? This is not an order. Don't worry, this is not going to be an order. Um, but I will rank them at the end. And that is William Eklund. William Eklund is a great player. Um, he's a Swedish player. Put in the SHL. 23 points in 40 games, I believe. Something like that. Uh, very good. Um, has some, some good physical play. Has good defensive play. He's a center. He doesn't score as much as I was looking at Dylan Gunther. Um, in the hockey news, Dylan Gunther versus William Eklund. Um, they said overall the better player is William Eklund. And, but Dylan Gunther can score more than Eklund, but Eklund has more of the overall um, talent. Defensively, smart, um, can win face-offs, physical at times, can do many things. And I think the Wings and how Stevie Y does things, picks players from Sweden, from the SHL, different things. You think of Lucas Raymond last year. You think of Mort Seidel the other year. You think of some other guys out there. And you're like, you know what? The Kings, I mean, the uh, Wings could definitely go for William Eklund. Absolutely. They could definitely go for William Eklund. And you know what? That would be a fantastic pick. He can play here in the next year after. If you want him to. If you want another year of SHL, which I absolutely think um, Stevie Y would do, he would probably do another year or two. Because what's the rush? Really, what is the rush for the Wings at this point? There really isn't at this time. So, you know, Stevie Y can take his time. All right, the second player I thought about is... Luke Hughes. Now you're probably like, wait, Luke Hughes is supposed to go fourth overall, right? To the Devils? But who knows? I would think he will, right? But what if he doesn't go to the Devils? What if the Devils, for example, picked like Brent Clark? Or they picked, let's see, what could the Devils pick instead? Um, thing at the top. Maybe they pick Dylan Gunther. Maybe they pick Eklund. Maybe they pick, um, I don't know, something like that, right? Those are probably the options uh, you have. What if they go for those guys? And he drops to number six. Because I do not see the Blue Jackets picking um, Luke Hughes. I don't see any of that, but I see the Red Wings picking them. So there you go. Uh, Luke Hughes could go to the Red Wings. Next one. Whoops. Okay. The next one. Is Brant Clark. Now, Brant Clark is a right shot defenseman, and he can be that great right shot guy with more Seidel if you want him to. Um, he played in the Barry Colts of the OHL uh, this season, and he played in Slovakia, uh, 15 points in 26 games. Um, he was like, well, now he's going to start. So he's like, you know, I'm going to Slovakia. I'm going to play with some men. And guess what? He plays with some men. And he plays absolutely amazing. And that really helped his stock. You know, if he had to wait from the OHL, wait all this time and do that stuff. Guess what? He may be a little bit low in the draft. Knowing that he did that stuff. Playing against men. Playing really well. 
will move his stock up higher. So knowing that, Brand Clark could go to the wings. And that might be a fantastic pick. Um, even though they could use a Seno, a goalie, um, that would be a fantastic pick. And the last but not least, here we go. Alright, I think you all know which one I'm talking about at this point. And that is... Jesper Wallstad. Now, Jesper Wallstad is that SHL Swedish def uh, goalie. And, you know, like I said, Eklund is Swedish. Wallstad is Swedish. Looking at that, I think he might... There's a high percentage you can go for either Eklund or Wallstad in this draft. I can really, really see that. Because Wallstad is a fantastic SHL goalie. And if he knows that, he likes a lot of Swedish players, like I said. Uh, Seidel, Raymond, guys like that. I think he could go with Walter. I don't think he kills. The thing of Mort Seidel back in 2019, he was supposed to go on like 20th overall, which like around the Penguins and all that. He went 6th. Okay? That's going way off to people back then. Way off the board. So, I don't think Stevie Y kills. He's like, you know what? I'm going for it. Why not? I need a goalie. I want to get what I want. And, yeah, that's what I think. Absolutely. All right, now, after talking about the 6th overall pick, we're going to go to the 23rd overall pick, okay? And we're going to talk about players a little bit later in the draft. Um, That's how we're going to be doing it, because that's what they have. They have a second, they have a second pick in that, um, <coughs> excuse me, their first round. So the first one I want to talk about is Carson Lambos. Now, Carson Lambos can go 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, maybe a little bit earlier than that, but what if he drops number 23rd? I'm putting out there, Carson Lambos would be a fantastic option for these Detroit Red Wings, and if he's available, I don't see how the Red Wings miss that opportunity. Now, Carson Lambos, man, the Jets could really pick him, and that'll be for the, uh, the Wings, number 23rd, so we'll see. With the WHL this season, he had... Uh, well, let's look at the U20. Uh, 11 points in 13 games. Not bad. Uh, this guy can do some good stuff, Carson Lambos. And they haven't projected to go to Winnipeg 18th overall, which, you know what? If the Winnipeg Jets don't pick him, they pick something else, which is like hard to see how the Jets don't pick Lambos. We'll see how that goes. But Lambos would be a great option for the, um, the Wings. Absolutely fantastic option, for sure. Next one. Oops. And this is going to be another goalie, Sebastian Corsa. Now, Sebastian Corsa is a, uh, he's 6'6", and Sebastian Corsa looks like a really good goalie. And if the Red Wings want to go for, example, like Eklund, we'll say the Wings say, you know what, 6 or 4 we're going for Eklund. Okay? We're going for Eklund. We need that guy. He's all, he's all going to be our guy, okay? Here we go. We got Eklund. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, right? Guess what they can do? They can go try to get closer. And they might have to trade up a little, which they have a lot of picks. So they might have to because another team out there might be like, you know what? We need the goalie. Yeah, like we need the goalie here. But um, Sebastian Corsa, 6'6". Um, 212 pounds already, WHL, 157 goals against average, and a 941 save percentage in 19 games, and that's very good, absolutely. So, um, we'll see how he does, but Costa looks like a very good goalie, um, maybe for the future, and, you know, the Wings have two options here, so they can try to get a goalie in this first round, which is a very smart decision for sure. Next, I had to put his initials so everyone knows. And next is Simone Robertson. Now, this is projected that Simone Robertson is the right uh, winger. I don't know if they would go for him. They have Sedina. They have Raymond. They have guys like that. But um, Simone Robertson um, is, you know, he's going to play in the SHL next year. Of course, uh, Stevie Wild loves Sweden players, Swedish players. Um, but... In the U18 tournament with Sweden, he had four points in seven games. On the SHL, actually this year, two points in 22 games already. 
He got a little time, which is okay. He's gonna have to grow. It might be a three years, four years the max to really grow this guy. Um, Detroit the J20 National, 20 points in 15 games. So we'll see how this goes. This is really wide open in this draft, absolutely. Uh, so we'll see what happens. He's the Swedish player, so I could see the uh, wings going for it. Simone Robertson, and last but not least. Come on, let me type. <laughs> Takes it out on me. Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay. And last but not least, we have. Bear with me, heal. We have Cummins. Yes, Cummins. Corson Cummins is a defenseman. He is committed to Wisconsin. NCAA next year, but Cummins is definitely like one of the top six. I'd probably say number six, um, best defenseman out there. Um, I would say number one, Owen Power, number two, Simone Everton, number three, Luke Hughes, number four, Brand Clark. Hughes or Clark could it be back and forth for that one. Number five, probably Carson Lambos, number six, Carson Cummins would be a really interesting one. Um, Next show plays in the NCAA, like I said. Uh, he played with the Bandits, Books Bandits in the AJHL. 11 points in 8 games. You know, he can score. He gets the points. And he can be great with more side on. Maybe that's a team little thing there, you know. So, um, let me rate the 6th overall and the 23rd overall. Who should they go for? Number 1 for the 6th overall. I'll have to start off Wallstat. Would be at the... I'm going to pick Wallstat. Absolutely. Wallstat is my guy. Wallstat, Eklund, Clark, Hughes. Okay? Wallstat, Eklund, Clark, Hughes. Uh, why do I have Clark number third? Because they need a center. They need someone. They have what? They have, you know, more center. They have Lindstrom. They have some guys. They even have uh, Wallander, too. Just don't forget about him. So they have some guys, but they could use a center. And that could be Eklund, and they could use a goalie in Walls that. Let me do number 23. Let me rank them. Okay. If you can get this guy, you go for him. Lambo is number one. Number two is Kosa. If if they pick Walls that, Kosa's off the list. Number one, Lambo is number two, Kosa. Number three is Cummins. Number four, Simone Robertson. Because Robertson, I feel like, will be more of a working project. Three to four years in the making. Um, I know they can take the time with him. But they're all, if there's some guys that are a little bit more talented than him, I think you know who to go with. So, we'll see what happens. Um, and thanks for watching. And so, Hawk News Sports. See you next video.